never seen them use the hood before. Damn, that sword looks so cool. Good day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. <laughs> he only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. A chocobo? Two bowls of that, then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, girl! Coming! Your pal? <laughs> Would you rather be my squire? Oh, that's... That looks low-key kind of good. But, uh... Taking food upstairs. Mm. Could Hugo be up there, perhaps? Oh, you look familiar. Uh, not to check the <laughs> rights of Joshua. <laughs> Easy here. <laughs> wow, small world. Your grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. Well, you would only let worse. me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. God damn, his, he looks you do understand pretty well clothed. God damn, he's got style. Yes, your grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Mm. Joshua's always been ill since he was a kid, but I wonder if he's feeling ill now because he has Ultima sealed inside him, or is this just his childhood illness still around? I wonder. But wow, <laughs> what are the odds he's in this very inn? Okay. And she working hard. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skim, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> uh, why are you gonna talk so loud? Well, let's get this down us. We've a long way to go. Hey, you. Oh, you're blowing our cover, man. Uncle? Sorry. Didn't see Claude. They're right there, man. <laughs> you gotta meet up. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You can lend us hands, you know. Meet up with your bro. You two are travelers, are you not? Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. 
I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Anybody's leaving. <laughs> He's chowing down. God damn. Man. <laughs> this guy can fight on an empty stomach. Moment to lose. Stay back, Uncle. Gladly. Man just wants to enjoy his meal. Don't worry, I got him. What if I do this indoors? Oh, indoors, man. What in tornado? Oh my. I may have overdone it a bit. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay. Come on. Oh! <laughs> I'm, I'm getting them, don't worry about it. Come oh. on, oh, put up a fight. <laughs> Not likely. I'm just toying with my food. Weaklings. Oh, that gave me a bit of XP. Should have brought more. You should know by now, four isn't enough to take me on. For your trouble. Pleasant. Word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Easy fight. Come on, does she recognize him? Come oh, on, his brother is right there, man. We're a small world. Nice area. Colorful water. Now's our chance. Jote? That's her name? Jote? Jote. Jote. Your Grace? I'm fine. Yeah. Sure about it. Damn, I like his clothes. Whoa. Oh my god, damn. You're running for no reason. Meet up with your brother. I already took care of business here. <laughs> oh, is it reacting to Joshua? Oh, the feather. <sighs> He's close by and he Five? knows. Okay. He knows. <laughs> Well, before he gets away. Oh, he knew the exact room too. <laughs> Come on, you can track him down, surely. <laughs> Left the vegetables. What is it now? It's nothing. Let's go. Mm. Hey, Byron would be hella happy to see him too. We should track him down. Doriel, you're so close, man. Ah. That's terrible. Mm. 
Hmm. Where are you? Well, oh, damn it. Know where to find Kupka before. You were so close. Now. The rulers said to themselves, their guest is in the fang. We should press on before any more of their friends. Hey, I'm trying to pet my doll. Alright. Drake's fang done. Plates and pots! Bowls and basins! It's a nice area though. Wow. So pretty. What do we got here? Ooh, some guards. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. Well, let's open it, it up seem then. It Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. By guile then. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Oh, Rosina right. Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find her? We know naught of her but her name. And that she was working with Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means. The wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I'll wager this Rosina Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Well, let's get it done then. <laughs> Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's Fang anytime soon. Well, it's not like we've got a reason to. Let's see what you got in the shot. Are you looking for something in particular? A uh, platinum sword. I already got this. Nothing's really. Oh, breath of lightning. Lightning rod. Huh. I'm still getting that. Don't exactly need it. Why are these so expensive? They're only a song. Uh, I think Go we're with Gilbert. good. Fellas. Alright. Let's talk to the people. It for Gilbert's sake. You're a mm. Anything I can help you with, travelers? Allow me. Go for it. My good man, we represent one of the oldest and greatest trading houses of Port Isolde. We're seeking to expand our business in the region and would very much like to make the acquaintance of Dalamil's leading entrepreneurs. <laughs> if only we knew where to find them. Hmm. Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Oh. Well, thank you all the same. Takes care of that from him. How about you? What do you want? Can't you oh. see I'm busy? Oh, oh damn. Long. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for someone. A woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, that's easy. The Briar's Kiss. I don't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. Yona's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. All right. All the Briar's right. Kiss, you say? Thank you. I doubt this young sprig is the person we're looking for. You said Sid's contact was likely to be an influential sort. Influence comes with age and experience, believe you me. Well, got nothing to lose by checking it out. Still got us people with more people. Looks like we won't be getting back to Drake's family. Oh, this area Honey, looks I cool. I want to play with the crystal. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a toy. Uh, that it's not. Oh, there you are. 
Oh, look at this place. Nice. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of mm. Buzina Dalamil. A long-standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years. Knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Baths. Thank you kindly. Alrighty then. We well, got a lead. It sounds like we have our man. Perhaps. Let's go and find out exactly what this photo knows. Wait, incense! What one candle? Alright. Excuse me. Are you further? I am. Can mm. I help you, travelers? Maybe. So. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? She oh. was a close friend of mine. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Okay. Do you think we can trust him? Only as far as I think he trusts us. Well, what do we got to lose? So oh. you're the ones who've been sniffing around. Ah. I beg your pardon. I see. Don't play the fool. Oh, well, looks like we gotta kick Stick some ass. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson? You need more than four people to get at me. Pathetic. Burn, why don't you? Burn! Oh my god, it's still going. And... Right... There... Oh! Good shit. Ah, they got back up. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Right on. Guys are putting up the fight. Yeah. Is that all you have? Oh, I was blocking it. Come on then. Come on. Alright, yeah, I put up a decent fight. Rough on them. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, hi him. The, the boss. The boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Mm -hmm. Bought further? Lord. Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent. For an outlaw. You know who I am. So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. Mm -hmm. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. Indeed, the lock of leisure, uh, Porsche. A test, it was, I say. Mm, nothing to it. 
kneaded to a silken softness, like eating a cloud with a crust. <laughs> well, you do know how to sell. Once you go flat. <laughs> Never go bad on the whole. Take a sniff, good sir. You'll be transported. I will. How uh, much go? Oh god, I'm getting distracted. Is this the place? Doesn't look like much. Forge, the Briar's Kiss. It's a weaponry shop. Ah, so it was the young sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. It was an easy mistake to make, Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Will do. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. Lubor. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's funny? Uh... Tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Why trust? Everyone knows that. Without it, you have nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. Oh. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a busy man, as you can see. Well, that's fair enough. So you Let's need my trust. Let's this mama to his farce. By all means. Find someone else to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Why, you... So, what do we need to do to earn your trust? Hmm. Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Yeah. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Oh, all good. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. Fine. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. Well, I mean, what other choice do we have? Out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Yep. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Yep, yep. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet, even then, I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What trouble? If you're going to give us orders, be clear about them, damn you! <laughs> Manners, Greybeard. One catches more damselflies with honey than with vinegar. What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. Ha! It will be easy. Solving his little riddle should be like dealing with him. Child's play. Let us divide our forces, Clive. He I doesn't like him at all. this parlor <laughs> game on any longer than we need to. All right. Good luck, Uncle. A fair bit of guilt. Okay. 
I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Well, this should be easy enough. Uh, this one's closer. Oh, right. Just gotta talk to some people. What's up? Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Dalamil seems to be thriving compared to the other villages I came through on the way. Ooh. Is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well, thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. That's pretty chokeable. Alright, uh, next up, next up. Oh, this has got to be over here. One tornation. Oh, there you are. Oh, let me get my health all the way back up. Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Pilfering the crystals that were meant to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk are uh, hard to share between us I should be getting my second week. wind. Sure. It isn't as if we can Any buy them off. on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. Okay, one more I gotta talk to. Is this obelisk activated? It should be, right? Yeah. Whoa, this place is bigger than I thought. The baths. Hey. A deposit? Hmm? Oh, there you are. Information, my good man. Now, listen carefully. Oh, look at you, Dorgal. <laughs> cute little zombie, so cute. Alright, he's taking care of Bishop Sure. Fresh bread, warm from the oven. You wouldn't believe how much he gave me. Hmm? Well, I hope you gave as good as you got. What, what can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing? Hey. I'm not a soldier. Oh, then be off with you. Oh. I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't You're want to be what's stuck buttered? Under some when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and an urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. Well, damn, okay. I think I'm starting to get an idea of what's been going on. I wonder if Uncle Byron's learned anything of use. He'll probably be back at the inn by now. Huh, he was just here. Fresh from the capital. Do, 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 do. Where's Byron? Oh, there you are. Yeah, it's not Why Byron. Is the tavern shot? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. Wasn't well, my fault what exactly. Do you want? Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Didn't you get paid I'm for all that? For my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you. Yes, he's upstairs. But oh, well, okay then. It's all I needed to know. Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. What the? Where's the boy? Can't just go in here. One tornation. All right. Ugh, where's this man at? Let me treat you. I'm pretty flush these days. What in tornation? Why are you now? <laughs> okay. I need to drink. Same. You know, imported from uh, just one prick and a little sparrow will sing. Uh -huh. Getting farther away. But oh. Huh? Oh, he 
she's talking to a soldier. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with, should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Uh, he's got his own way of handling things. <laughs> uh, what you got? Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. Mm -hmm. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So the pearl was your proof? <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. Ugh. A second-rate specimen like that would only fetch 500,000 or so. A small price to pay for admittance to the underworld. But enough about my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. <laughs> it just goes to show one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. Well I said. to meet with the soldiers in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from prying eyes. The perfect place for a spot of double dealing. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. Well, of course. <laughs> of course. Not far ways away, okay. So I gotta go that way. Let me just check Let what's down you. here real quick. I need to drink. Any hidden loot? Any hidden loot around here? Fucking men of the wrong. Any time they pull their snouts out of Kukka's trough is when they want to lord it over us. Oh, my, oh hello. Fifteen. Show kill. Show kill. I just killed a Torgo though. Alright, let's get it. Uh, it's a, a little far away. A thousand kill, damn. Oh, no, which way was it? Uh, if I go that way, okay. Made from the stoutest stoneware! Do you think they'll be back to you? Fresh bread. Juiciest meat. It would make us. My carpets have bright. Oh, this place is pretty lively. All right, here we go. <whistles> that. There you go. Ready, go. Alrighty then. Get it. Looking out for any Caution. interesting oh. area. Wow, the water is so blue here. No hidden items here though. Uh, let's see this way. Wow, oh my god. Damn.
see anyone though. I'll take it from here. By all means. You go for it. I was beginning to think you weren't coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice? You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Mm. Oh, damn. Wow, he wasn't kidding. Not bad at all. You weren't lying about the clarity. But what of security? If I were to be stopped on the road, what guarantee have I that it wouldn't be seized as property of the Republic? Because these crystals are no longer the property of the Republic. You're not buying from us. You're buying from them. And we have no more jurisdiction here than you, my lord. But we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion, and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <laughs> so it would seem. My lord! What is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. They're not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. You can try. Come on. Who will lay the first blow? Right Oh my god. All right, let's wrap this up quick. More enemies, perfect. Well said, me too. Oh, now I'll go for you first then. Oh, get some of this going. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, you, you're healing them, aren't ya? Whenever, come on. Oh, I got them all. A hundred combo. Oh, wow. Never gotten that much before. Run, run. Too easy. Um. Oh, don't you want Well, that 
wasn't too bad. That's like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? No. Greybeard, you were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying one's way into the confidence of degenerates. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals men for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of redress against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Well, oh. we'd better get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. Go for it. Oh. Oh. Simple enough. It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> what about it? I suppose it could have been worse. What, well, like Lubor? Clive, uh, you held up your end of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been... Encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Okay. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. <laughs> Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Uh, those two will never Here. go along. Wear this. What was that? A seal? Desert Rose seal. Okay. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Blue Ball. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that. Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Hey, yo. Well, I mean, not the same bed, but, you know. <clears throat> oh, thank you, little We are lost the land. To his Achilles. Surely that one's not gonna get killed. I'm trusting you, Sid. Or should I say, Clive? So be sure not to let me down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> well, as do I, but... <laughs> to our long partnership. Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. All right. It took a little bit, but got that done. Oh my God, hundred five thousand gil. I am rich, rich. The hell am I gonna spend it all on? Make for drinks, bang. Oh hell, we got side quest to do now. Ah, oh, hell. Whenever they appear, I gotta do them. Like I'll be here for a bit longer. 
A bathhouse owner. Whoop. What you need? All those years of toil. Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? For the right kill? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. Mm. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Go to Dusnoff Terraces. Tell me what you find there. All right. Suppose I can do that. All right. I'll go and take a look. Wonderful. It's not far. Leave the market by the south gate. The smell of sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. I'm on the case, sir. We'll get these baths up and running again. But first, I gotta activate this other side quest as well. Needed to Light a silken softness. It would make us the finest fabrics. Or I thought it was Lubor again. It's this guy over here. Never even forged a button. <sighs> Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm. Neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? That's how I am. Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Oh. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. Thought I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. Oh, I got 800 out of this. Oh, okay. I could give you a hand if you like. Or the right you know how busy the Briar's Kiss has been. And that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. So, where do we start? Good question. If I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind. The spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, there's only one way we'll be solving Lubor's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling in the dark, I suppose. Now, who to speak to first? Hmm. Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher. And anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. All right. At least I got paid for this one. Trust Lubor to take a simple test and turn it into a riddle. I better get to it. My All right. On. The most fragrant herbs and spices. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? A question, if you don't mind. I need to know what makes a good carving knife. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. It's a tool. Okay. Well, anyone would know that. Uh... Made from the stoutest stoneware. Just. Do, do, do. Uh -huh. Look at the detail. Hanging lantern. Ah. 
They've opened the gate. Lubor was true to his word. That they did. We can make our way back to the fang now. Yeah, the wall. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Oh, yeah. You're dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So it's gotta be durable it's and it's gotta be sharp. All pretty obvious things. Uh, upgraded. Wait. I should. Mm, nah, I'll stick with what I got. Almost have enough to upgrade flames over birth. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Let's hope Sava had better luck than I did. I mean, yeah, we got pretty much obvious information about it. and pots! I wonder if that's all I have to do. Yes, I got 800 gil, just like that. So, how'd it go? You learn anything useful, or should I be looking for a new trade? Only that a blade should be durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses, most likely. No doubt you're right, but I have to make a start soon. I can't put off making this knife forever. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Luba wouldn't like that much. Right. I've been trained to work iron. The cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is, it's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But... Maybe there is someone I could turn to. A merchant. A favorite of Forge Master Lubor's. Who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valkroy? Sure are talking a lot. <laughs> oh my god. This better be worth the 800 kill. Search the Valkroy desert for the trader. Oh god. All this for 800 kill. Might as well, man. Gotta do them all. Run like the wind. Tell him. 
If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubor, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation. Adamantite. Not needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said the Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low quality iron. Bloody hell! That Bloody must be hell. it! I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? It's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough blacksmiths to know how it works. Well, Looks okay. like I've got some learning to do. Clive, I uh, hate to ask after all that you've done for me, but. The limestone? Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Well, kind of been too deep. I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble finding limestone over in the terraces. Terrace. Place is bloody made of it. Then I suppose I'll meet you back at the forge. Right, you are. I'll see you shortly. Get. Do you crush it up? Do do do. All right. Well, we know what to gotta do now. Ooh, I'm just gonna get all this out of the way real quick. 